Well, hey everyone, this is Shreesh and welcome back to my channel. Well, today I'm back with another one of the amazing universities, LSC, that is London School of Economics. Well, before I begin this video, I have something very interesting to share with you. Very recently, I have started making videos on my podcast, Living Extraordinary, that can help you build your dream life as I share some super amazing tools, strategies and resources in my podcast. So check out my podcast videos as well and make sure to share with your friends and family and help me grow this show. And as always, I have created an amazing college admission profile assessment and is absolutely free to use. Just head to the link mentioned in the description box and get your profile evaluated for free. In this video, I'm going to talk about LSE. So let's hit it up for LSE. Hi, I'm Shirish Gupta and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. The London School of Economics and Political Science, LSE, is a public research university located in London, England. LSE is one of the 17 colleges under University of London. The main campus is located in London. And London is an exciting and vibrant and colorful city. It's also an academic city with more than 400,000 university students. Yes, that's amazing. Whatever your interests or appetite, you will find something to suit your palate and pocket in the truly international capital. LSE has been based at Clare Market and Houghton Street in Westminster, close to St. Paul Cathedral and the British Museum. With a campus spread across Claremont streets, the buildings offer architectural landmarks around the market with new and old style buildings. In 2021, LSE claimed to be the first UK university to be independently verified as carbon neutral campus, which is amazing. The most popular majors at LSE include, of course, economics, political science, accounts and finance, anthropology, management, business, entrepreneurship, philosophy, policy and law. Although I'm not a big fan of judging a university solely on the basis of the ranking, still LSC has been ranked as a top university in London and in Times and all the major ranking services like QS News and Times Good University Guide as well. All right, now let's move on to our next section, talking about the right fit, starting with academic fit. LSE awards a range of academic degrees spanning bachelors, masters and PhDs. Teaching at LSE takes the form of a mixture of lectures and classes. Lectures are attended by all the students taking the course, which could include up to hundreds of students in a popular courses actually. LSE is a truly global outlook. They have a lot of study abroad opportunities for interested students, including the general course or GO LSE exchanges. It also offers more than 100 intensive short courses available each summer across a range of LSE subjects. A major advantage to being a student at LSE is having the best access to LSE's famous public lecture series. LSE hosts the world's leading thinkers and speakers as they give exclusive talks on their ideas and experiences. The lectures are free to attend, open to public and happen most nights during term time. Also. Next door to campus is Royal Courts of Justice Building, while the Financial District Westminster and the House of Parliament are all within easy reach. This makes for an exciting place to study, especially if you are hoping to work in finance, politics or law. LSC also offers many courses dedicated to research. There are many research programs available for postgraduate students and the undergraduate students as well. The faculty at LSC are best in their fields time and again appreciated by the students for their teaching methods and involvement in classes. The class size at LSE is small to average. Most classes, by contrast, consist of no more than 15 students, which is amazing. So keeping all this thing in mind, I would like to rate LSE with 5 stars on academic difficulty and quality level where 5 is the highest level. After academic fit, let's move to social fit. Social life in LSE is happening for sure. LSE looks out over the London skyline rather than the green fields. It is stimulating, cosmopolitan and very much part of the real world. It's not all about study either. Around the corner, you'll find Covent Garden, London's heart of theatre, dance and film, while many other London sites, attraction and entertainment are nearby. There are also plenty of support services to help make sure you get the most out of your LSE experience. From joining one of the over 200 societies or starting your own society to volunteering for a local charity or attending a public lecture by a world leading figure, there is a lot to choose from. LSE is about 12,000 plus students in total with about 5,000 as undergrad and remaining 7,000 about as PG and PhD. 45% of students are classed at home or EU and 55% as overseas, which is really diverse. This diversity encourages social, economical and political discussions from the global perspective informed by the different experiences, views and beliefs and the staff in the student body actually. Housing is good at LSE too. 
The residence halls are well maintained and equipped. Many students live in LSE halls or in the University of London intercollegiate residences and in private halls also. LSE also helps you find a privately rented place in London and also offers short term rooms in halls over the summer. Dining options are available within residential halls and students say the dining choices range from edible to excellent. There are many options available both on and off campus for all students to enjoy from. LSE is not just good academically, it's big on sports too. It has 40 sports club and sports ambassadors from athletics to rowing, squash and yoga. LSE offers competitive academics and good social life as well. I would like to give it 5 stars out of 5 on the quality of life at LSE. Now let's look at the financial fit. LSE falls in an affordable to expensive school category, but the expenditure depends on your program. You can expect anything about 20,000 to 25,000 pounds in annual tuition expenses. For home students, the course fee is about 9 to 10,000 pounds. The housing and dining may fall around 15,000 pounds range for the most. As far as financial aid is concerned, LSE offers a lot of scholarships to domestic and international students. Yes, which is plus. All scholarships are awarded on the basis of financial circumstances in the first instance and secondly, take into, into account your academic merit as well. Award amounts vary depending upon the individual circumstances but are usually between 6,000 to 15,000 pounds per year for UG students. For PG students, LSE provides a lot of scholarship ranging from 5,000 again to 15,000 pounds through its graduate support scheme and it can also provide full scholarship through LSE Master's Award to students belonging to low income group. Make sure to check out the link in the description box to check your eligibility for all these scholarships. But you can actually study at LSE with 100% of scholarship as well. So overall, I would like to give it 4 stars out of 5 on financial fit. After exploring the fit, let's move to a most curious section on how to increase your chances or triple your chances of getting into LSE with my special admission tips and strategies. The ideas I'm going to share now come from my decade long experience working with students for career and college admission. LSE is one of the elite colleges that are highly selective. The acceptance rate last year was about 8.9% overall. Each application is carefully considered on the individual basis, taking into account the full range of information presented on the application form. This includes your personal statement, academic achievement, both achieved and predicted grades, subject combination, contextual information and their references. You must have a GPA above 3.5 out of 4 on 90% and above for the admission for the UG, this equates to about 37 IB points. For PG, you must have a GPA of above 7, preferably close to 8 because it's very competitive. The quality of an applicant's personal statement is very important at LSE. The school does not interview most of the UG admissions very rarely, so this is an applicant's only opportunity to demonstrate their good fit for the course. Even for the PG admission, SOP is really very important. Next. Research is an important aspect for your application. If you have a background in research, make sure to include it in your application. LSE holds betterment of society at heart, so it is important to demonstrate some community service while applying. Along with this, LSE believes in sustainability, so talking about it will also align you better for admissions. LSE requires an English language qualification showing proficiency in each of the four subcomponents of language like reading, writing, speaking and listening unless they are from a majority English speaking country. LSE accepts undergraduate applications through UCAS. The process is simple and deadline go in late January. They also have a, they have also have a deadline in October mid. Unlike UG's postgraduate applications goes directly through LSE's individual online portal. The admission process is on rolling till the seats are available, but there are always very program specific scholarship related deadlines. I recommend you to keeping an eye on those. This can give you an additional advantage financially. Applying early will be definitely advantages. Transfer applicants are accepted between January and February every year, although every course has specific prerequisite that the applicant must meet before applying. In the end, to conclude, if you are interested in management, are a hardworking, social, okay with intense workload, interested in research and enjoy being challenged, intellectually, socially and personally, LSC is for you. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really appreciate it. Please make sure to support my work by liking and sharing this video and also subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. Remember to complete your profile evaluation as discussed in the beginning of this video and get your personalized report for free. And yeah, it is one tool that will help you in your college admission journey. And I am here with you to support you on this beautiful journey of college admission. If you need any assistance, me and my team are here to help. I would also recommend you to watch this video next. Well, thank you once again and I'll be back with another amazing video for you. Till then, this is Shri signing off. Take care and have a good one.